Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking. Join me as I travel the country, learning the tips, tricks, and stories behind the recipes and home cooks that make up the world's number one food site, allrecipes.com. This week we're in San Rafael, California. Blessed with sunny Bay Area weather and surrounded by beautiful state parks, San Rafael is an ideal setting for All Recipes cook Michelle. We caught up with Michelle at this elementary school garden where she comes to help educate kids on eating sustainably. But Michelle isn't stopping there. She also wants to help your family eat and cook more sustainably with her new book, The Whole Family Cookbook. The Whole Family Cookbook is a book that's designed to bring whole families together to not just cook together, but to make seasonal healthy recipes that are good for the planet. This week, she's offered to share two of her favorite recipes from her book. This is what's cooking. All right, we're back in uh, Michelle Stern's kitchen, and we're going to be cooking two recipes today from her cookbook, your uh, miso glazed salmon and your kale chips. Believe it or not, healthy, well, you can't really call them potato chips, but healthy chips made from kale. So why don't we get started? Okay, I'm pretty picky about the salmon that I choose, and it's something that I talk a lot about in the book, is just how to make um, a decent environmental impact on the food choices that okay. you make. So I look for well-caught salmon, but I also look for salmon that are pole-caught. So picture your, your fisherman in the yellow slicker and he's out there with his fishing pole. I am so, a fisherman, so Okay, so you can picture that. I picture you in a slicker. We're gonna throw together the marinade. This is something that if my kids were home from school, they could do themselves. And so I would really encourage any parent to come in and cook with their kids. So are you feeling like a kid today? I always feel like a kid. Duh. Okay, so I would like you to measure. First, just combine the dry sherry with some medium. Which is sweet Japanese rice wine. Gives a really great flavor. So we've got our mirin. Then add the tamari or soy sauce, brown sugar, and miso paste. And when you're cooking with your kids, you kind of need to realize that it's not going to always come out exactly right. And that's OK. Just stir it all together and let the salmon marinate for five minutes on each side. And while we're waiting, we'll go to the garden and collect some kale. Collect some kale. We're going kale collecting. Kale collecting. So we're in my backyard and this is called dinosaur kale, so the leaves are slightly thicker than some of the other varieties that are out there. I can eat a whole tray of this stuff by myself. That's what I heard. <laughs> I love the smell of kale in the morning. This is kind of a gateway vegetable for kids. <laughs> no, seriously. So once we make these kale chips, kids who don't really like vegetables, this is a pretty good one to transition them. There you have it, kale, the official gateway vegetable. All right, let's go back and wash them off and cook them up. I learned a quick and easy way to get the kale leaves off of these stems. Okay. I used to sit there and tear each piece. It took forever. So I actually hold the stem in my hands, and then I pinch, and I strip. So you end up with the leaf and the thicker part of the stem separated. Okay. All of the kitchen scraps that come from when I'm preparing recipes, and I bring them out and feed the chickens that are in the backyard. Another way that I recycle okay. in the kitchen. Toss the kale with some olive oil on a baking sheet and sprinkle with a little salt. Then pop them in the oven for about 12 minutes. While those are in the oven, let's get back to the salmon. So it's heated and we're gonna add just a little bit of canola oil to the pan. It's got a high smoke point. Do you have hands of steel? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the salmon in skin side down. Cook the salmon for about four minutes per side or until it starts to flake apart. Let's check the kale chips and see how they're doing. Let's do it. All right. They should be on the crunchy side, so they shouldn't be stuck to the pan. And, and they, they look pretty good. And they should be crispy. Those are good. Those are good. Mmm, I love that miso. Okay. That is very good. This is like fish and chips, but it's oh, just healthy. Aren't you funny? Fish and kale chips. So if you want more healthy recipes like this that taste awesome, make sure you go out and buy Michelle Stern's book, The Whole Family Cookbook. So there you have it. Join us again next week for another cook, another kitchen, another episode of What's Cooking. They're very good stuff. Hey girls, here you go. All right. Oh, they love the scraps. So these are, yeah, these are the scraps from what we just cooked as well as all the stuff from yesterday. Sustainability definitely comes full circle in your backyard. You know, it's a great way to recycle and I get amazing eggs out of these girls. So it's um, Don't mess with that chicken. Yeah, she's the nasty one. <laughs>